Mary and Mary. The Feast of the Presentation of the Lord is also known as the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the Old Law, there were two precepts concerning the birth of firstborn sons. Firstly, that the mother should remain as unclean, retired in her house for forty days, after which she was to purify herself in the temple. The other was that the parents of the firstborn son should take him to the temple and there offer him to God. Before I continue, let me briefly address the question asking why Mary had to be purified if she was sinless. Mary submitted to the purification ritual with its mandatory sin offering for the same reasons that Jesus submitted to circumcision, a purification ritual symbolizing being made spiritually clean, and baptism, another purification ritual. Mary had no need of purification, but through her humility and obedience, she humbled herself to follow the precepts of the law, which was soon to pass away. In Exodus 13.13, 13, And all the firstborn of men among your sons you shall redeem. The Israelites were to redeem or buy back the firstborn of their children by offering a lamb in their place. Other mothers knew offering their sons was simply a legal ceremony. But Mary offered her son the true Lamb of God, knowing that one day this offering will be actually consummated on the cross. This is Mary's sacrifice. For she knew what was to come, and the holy Simeon told her, And thy own soul a sword shall pierce. Luke 2.35 she knew that at the end of his life, his most sacred flesh would be torn and mangled by scourges. But he was wounded for our iniquities. He was bruised for our sins. Isaiah 53, 5 She knew that he was to be pierced by nails. They have dug my hands and feet. Psalm 22, 17 And that finally, hanging on a cross, he was to die for the salvation of men. And they shall look upon me, whom they have pierced. Zechariah 12:10. What mother would accept the child, knowing that she will later lose him by an ignominious death, moreover, that she would be present and see him die? St. Thomas Aquinas said, The quality of mother gives her a special right over her children. Jesus, being himself innocent and undeserving of punishment, should not have been condemned to the cross as a victim for the sins of the world without the consent of his mother. At the death of Jesus... Mary united her will to that of her son, both offering the one sacrifice. The holy abbot Arnold of Bonval says that both son and mother effected human redemption and obtained salvation for men. Jesus, by satisfying for our sins. Mary, by obtaining the application of this satisfaction to us. On February 2nd, we celebrate the presentation of the Lord. Let us take Mary's example and unite our wills to God's will, even in the face of pain and suffering. For more daily reflections, subscribe to our free daily nuggets at www.redeemforworship.com. This daily nugget is brought to you by Redeem for Worship. I am the Lord's handmaid, Mary said, May it be to me as you have said. It's Mary and Mary. Created using Powtoon.